And here's a list of symptoms that can occur along with the pain. So this is something that you should look out for. And doctor, if you want to add some to this list, but for now we have these three, back or neck pain, numbness or tingling, muscle spasms and weakness. Can you chime in on those and maybe add a couple more if you think we should? Sure, so back and neck pain, again, has multitude of causes, but if it came on suddenly, particularly after a trauma, then you have to wonder if there may be a spinal fracture. If that pain is persistent, for example, lasting for more than a few days, or if it's getting worse, then it's something that really needs to be checked out. I wanna point out that the second two uh, things on that graphic, which were uh, weakness and, and numbness or tingling, those are neurologic symptoms. Those indicate that perhaps a nerve has been damaged and that absolutely needs evaluation by a physician and probably a neurosurgeon. All right, and uh, what about paralysis? Now that obviously is a bit more serious, uh, but can that result from an untreated spinal fracture? Well, yes, but usually when we talk about paralysis as the result of a spinal fracture, it, it happens all of a sudden during a trauma. And uh, that fracture can occur at any level uh, of the spine. Of course, the higher the level, then I, I think of it as kind of a, a, a one-way uh, road here. And so if you injure at the thoracic level, for example, then everything below that can be injured in terms of weakness and numbness and paralysis. Let's take that 3D image again if we can and you can show us actually uh, where that paralysis occurs. Walk us through the spine where those areas of injury sure. occur. So up here in the cervical spine is where your cervical spinal cord is. And so if you have an injury, for example, in the high cervical spinal cord, then anything downstream of that, as I say, where uh, can affect the weakness of the arms, the legs, and even cause uh, paralysis. You can even have partial paralysis where there's weakness, but not full-on paralysis. And so um, the other part of the spine here is the thoracic spine, and if you have an injury there, uh, oftentimes people may uh, result in, in paraplegia, which mm -hmm. is uh, paralysis of just the lower extremities, but they can use their arms. And the reason is because the information that's coming down from their brain up here can go back out to the arms before the fracture has ever even occurred.